Many of our first experiences of renting are when we are students. Jamie, you were a student at Leeds University, weren't you? Did you live in halls of residence or uh, on a nearby yacht? <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking to students in Cardiff who have been dishing the dirt about a company called CPS Homes. CPS described themselves as Cardiff's largest estate and lettings agent and is run by Barry and Emma James. There they are. Yes, like all the most appalling things in history, it's a husband and wife operation. <laughs> CPS are even a fan of mine. They've posted one of my videos on their Facebook page. That's nice of them, isn't it? My guess is, after what I'm about to show you, they won't still be fans of mine. <laughs> we spoke to numerous students who have rented accommodation through CPS homes but have been deducted hundreds of pounds from their deposits for alleged damage. Those deposits are big money for students who need it to buy essential items like textbooks, Bitcoin and spice. <laughs> <laughs> when they try and get more information from Barry and his team, they are often ignored for months on end and have to either accept the deductions or take the case to the official body to try and claw back their money. So what's going on here? Turn your eye holes in this direction. I'm here in Cardiff, here to meet two people who paid £2,380 in rental deposits to CPS last year. With me in their university library are students Lucy and Lizzie. Shh. Oh, sorry. So I wanted to meet you guys here so that I didn't interrupt your studying. Tell me what happened with CPS Homes. So, we rented with CPS in our second year of university and when we moved out, all this trouble started with our deposits. They have charged us off our deposit for general wear and tear that we didn't cause and damages that we also didn't cause. And they've just been rude and uncooperative the entire time. God, they sound like an absolute bunch of... <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> now, Lucy, Lizzie and their housemates were charged for 21 different essential repairs, totalling £843. They were told that they'd get none of their money back until they agreed to those deductions. It's five months on and they're still waiting. They're also waiting behind me awkwardly for me to finish this link. Let's have the top five of CPS essential repairs that haven't been repaired. At number five, 50 quid for a stained mattress. Lucy and Lizzie were charged for it, but did CPS fix this? No, they just turned the mattress over. Rising to four, 50 quid for small dents in the patio door. We checked, they're still there. At three, 50 quid to fix a chip and a blue tack mark. It's still there. Bubbling under at number two, 60 pounds to reseal the showers. Not been done. And this week's number one, 60 quid for a carpet stain. Is it still there? What do you think? Wouldn't be number one, would it? <laughs> Lucy and Lizzie had been ignored for months, so I gave them one of my undercover team and sent them back into CPS to see what was going on with their deposits. Come on, let's show this footage to a professional. Hi, Robert. Joe, hello. Nice to meet you. Come nice take a seat. Too. Yes, thank you. Hope you don't mind. I've got a bottle of Sambuca. I'm going to do a shot every time CPS do something wrong. OK, what have we got? First question, 21 different deductions. But why aren't there 21 invoices or quotes? Yeah, because that's the compensatory figures. So what that means is the landlord's claiming compensation for damages that he hasn't decided to get rectified as of yet. So it's a contribution towards the eventual replacing or fixing of the items. It doesn't really work like that. The deposit belongs to the tenants. Before a landlord can make any deduction, he's got to prove he's suffered that loss. What is this compensation all about? On a space stain on a mattress. Sometimes a landlord would want to claim if there's like a small stain, say forty pounds towards that. And as far as I'm concerned, this could easily be fair wear and tear. They're students. That's that's got to be wrong. <laughs> Small scuffs and stains count as general wear and tear, but a landlord shouldn't charge a tenant for them. And some of those charges are for damage Lucy and Lizzie are adamant they didn't cause. So, yes, tenants' responsibility to prove that they haven't caused damage. If we assume that they have, they need to show that they haven't. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. OK. That's the case with all agencies and all landlords. You need to show that you haven't. That, that is the case of this Is it? It isn't. That is completely wrong. They seem to be forgetting that the onus has got to be on the landlord. Mm -mm. I like the onus is on the landlord. I'm going to get that on a jumper. And I did! Sidebar, Lucy and Lizzie were given two invoices. The first was for a cleaning company. But we discovered that the cleaning company is owned by the sister of Barry James. 
the CEO of CPS. We called this cleaning company 20 times, and each time our calls weren't answered. It's almost as if the company doesn't exist. The second invoice is for a handyman. Well, who's this? Turns out the handyman is married to the cleaner, making these two in-laws. But even weirder still, the house that Lucy and Lizzie were renting is owned by the handyman and the cleaner. What a coincidence. And I wonder what Robert will make of that. So what do you make of that? That's extremely unprofessional. If there's a conflict of interest or a potential conflict of interest, you've got to come clean and tell the tenants on day one. You've got to tell them before they even sign the agreement. <laughs> and don't forget, a landlord should get their deposits sorted out within ten working days. And didn't these guys take months to get their act together? That is clearly wrong. And they did. I should say it's very important not to drink that much. Just do what Jamie does on Made in Chelsea and drink water out of a martini glass in a pretend nightclub at three in the afternoon. Isn't that right, Jamie? <laughs> 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 he can't say for legal reasons, I imagine. <laughs> it wasn't just Lizzie and Lucy who had issues with CPS. We contacted more than 30 students who were all charged for damage they said they didn't cause. And I can't believe all those students are lying, unless it's about how interesting their gap year actually was. <laughs> Now, not only that, but we visited multiple houses and checked the repairs the students had been charged for. Turns out the majority hadn't been done at all. That's a lot of stained mattresses, as my mum said when she picked me up from uni. <laughs> Barry could be said to be taking advantage of students who have most likely never rented before and who probably don't know their tenancy rights. But I was on a mission to teach them those rights. All I needed was the perfect peroxide sidekick. I'm over the road from CPS Homes, one of their lettings agencies, and we know for a fact that in there is the CEO, Barry James. Bossman Barry is about to get a visit from DJ Jamie Lang, ahead of his surprise DJ set outside Barry's office. In you go, Jamie. Have fun. Right, and then you... Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Um, I don't know if um, Mr. James is around at all. If you just say it's... So she's just going to get in. We know he's in there because he went for lunch. Hi. How are you, Jamie? Lovely to meet you. He had a milkshake. Oh, is he not? He's not here. They're saying he's not here. We know Barry's there because we watched him go in. Why are you hiding from us, Barry? I, Joe Lysett, was left no option but to go in. Armed with a track for tonight's rave, I pretended to just bump into Jamie like they do on Made in Chelsea, but with better acting. Jamie Bloody Lang, what are you doing here? Hey, buddy. How Hello. are you? Hi. How are you? How are you? Yes, what so are you doing here? I'm about to DJ at a rave. At a rave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, that sounds brilliant. Yeah, I've, so I've, I've made a track that, um, that I think you'd love for the rave. Really? Do you want to hear it? Yeah, OK. My track is an absolute banger. This is it. Designed to educate CPS on tenants' rights. Know that before you move in, the landlord must give you a copy of the gas safety certificate. 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 What certificate. do you think of this? Know that your rent cannot be increased. But before the track could really kick off, floor. boss man Barry slipped away and made a runner for his car. Barry! Do you want to come to our rave later? We're having a rave. Come on, why don't you talk to us? Why are you frightened why of us? Why don't you send in your queries? We office? will, we will, but and I want to know. They will tell you why... Why can't you tell us? You're the head of the company. Because I don't deal with it. I don't deal with everything. Well, let me tell you what we found. That's right. We found that you're ripping off dozens of students. Lucy and Lizzie want their £843 back. This is a nice car. Has that been paid for with ripping off students? See ya. Drive safe. So that's it. Barry's driven off. Which is a shame, because he's going to miss the rave. What happened? And it's going to happen right outside his office. Oh, it's so I spoke big. to Barry! What did he say? He didn't want to speak to me. Did he not? Oh, no, he didn't. Let's Come on, go. then. <laughs> Let's go and have a rave. Hiya! Hello. Know that before you move in, the landlord must give you a copy of the gas safety certificate. 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 Know that you don't need to get the property professionally cleaned if it hadn't been professionally cleaned before you moved in. hear about your deposit within 10 days of the tenancy ending. 10 days, you should hear. 10 days, your deposit. Know that your landlord shouldn't charge you for normal wear and tear.
attack. the come down we got in touch with CPS with all our findings and they said for 20 years CPS homes has successfully managed several thousand properties providing quality accommodation for renters we are satisfied that the four cases raised in the program have already been dealt with via our rigorous complaints procedure and through independent adjudication we therefore feel the rave and filming were disproportionate to the nature and small number of complaints super soz my rave was so big babes <laughs> So, <laughs> CPS may think they did nothing wrong, but Lucy and Lizzie have actually now been awarded hundreds of pounds of their deposit back. And Lucy and Lizzie are here tonight. Girls, how do you feel? Yeah, really great. Good, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Lucy and Lizzie, everyone. <laughs> On top of that, Cardiff Council contacted us to say they have just audited CPS and have issued them with an action needed warning. Can I get one of those too? Action needed here, baby. <laughs> And we've handed our findings over to Trading Standards, who have said they will investigate CPS.